Hello everybody, Ashram here, and let's take a look at the Johnson. So I'll be going over just the basic stats on the Johnny, modding on the Johnny, just multiple clips of gameplay of what you can hope to accomplish and just do, just dominate the game with it, and then show off the pros and cons of what I think work for the Johnson. So let's get into it. So I'll be comparing the Johnson to the FG42 and I'm using Red Demon's h &G tools which is just very cool. You can just compare any gun and mods and find the pricing on pretty much anything you want to know using his tools so I'll put the uh, description, there's a link in the description for those that want to go check it out. So straight up here. Johnson, 600 rate of fire, FG42, 514 rate of fire. The Johnson's just quite a bit faster stock. You can see here, both are three shots to kill, but the Johnson's got that faster time to kill. The damage is very similar, 39 damage on the Johnson to the 37 damage for the FG42. And the range is very similar. FG just has a smidge bit more range. So now I'll switch over to the actual wiki stats for the rest of the information that you'll need to know about this gun. Alright, so moving on to the ammo. Now the Johnny, it's got 20 bullets. The FG, it's got 20 bullets. The wiki actually lies here. FG's only 20. Reload Johnny, 4.3. Reload FG, 3.3. So the FG is quite a bit faster. But hey, that Johnny, it's got that 39 damage. It's it just too many good things about the Johnny compared to the FG in that sense. So the Johnny, you can use it on infantry as well as paratrooper, whereas FG-42, that's a paratrooper only gun. The equipment points are both the same at just six points. And because you're using, you can only use the FG-42 on a paratrooper, you're kind of limited with your ammo. Whereas with a Johnny, you can max it out and just get say 240 with it you can only get 120 on the FG42 so you can carry on a lot more ammo with the Johnny if you're using the Johnny as an infantry guy because you're gonna have more equipment points to spend so credit cost 270 17,000 credits which is 2600 gold if you like to just buy the gun out straight up which isn't a bad thing to do because you need max rank level 12 LMG assault or if you're playing a paratrooper you need ninth grade on the parachute ribbon so now let's get into the modding all right so get to the modding now on the Johnson now, just as it is, stock 600 RPM with that 4.3 second reload, and it's it's a three hit kill. It's good enough stock. Now you can go ahead and put on, say, the only other ammo that you could potentially use would be the match ammo, just because it would give you a bit more range and precision. So yeah, your shots could be a, a bit, say, more grouped up. But I just find that even looking at the little chart on the side here that just putting any ammo on an LMG is just not really that good. It harms the gun more than than it's actually useful. Because you just you give up way too much stability even though you get you trade in, you know, three greens for a red here. The stability is what matters the most. So you really don't want to be experimenting with other ammos. Now sight is always recommended. 
and it's the only thing you can actually add on to the Johnny since there is no scope. A trigger. Now, surprisingly, this trigger doesn't really change too much about it, so yeah, I would say go with the trigger and then obviously go with the light and spring. So now your build's going to be about 800 RPM and still fairly accurate. And then what you can do is you've got a choice between either, say, the, the damage and range barrel, which doesn't really give you that much. It's, it's already a three hit kill. You really can't get better than that. So putting on the precision mod would be your best option. So now you've got just your two rate of fire mods and your two precision mods and that's I mean if you want to fully mod it out that's what you need that's what you're looking for 800 RPM you'll be able to just mow down people and just within seconds now as far as badges go fast reload is just I would say the best overall badge to use with the gun because you only have the 20 bullets You've got the four second reload, so fast reload will help it. Maybe cut cut your reload down to between three to four seconds, so it'll be much faster. You can just reload your 20 bullets and just mow down more people. As well as a sidearm, you could go with a pistol if you were really concerned. Maybe if you can't get the second badge, having a pistol as a sidearm would be a much better option. But I would just say if you can get the fast reload then you can go ahead and either use an anti-tank grenades or just regular grenades for clearing buildings before you jump in there with your Johnny. So now let's get into some gameplay hope you guys enjoy it and I'll be back later for the pros and cons. Um, technically in their secondary so okay no 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 it's too many of them. Just get here. Okay, he walked out of the secondary, so it wasn't a spawn camp. Shit. I thought yeah, that was like a bad guy. I thought you should... Oh. I have tankers trying to come in here now. Another one. What the hell? Yeah. Oh my god. That guy walked out MGB and you were just... Dude, I came back around the corner because I had a feeling. You're ready to spawn on B-line then. I saw your shadow, you sneaky bastard! Man, this gun is so hard to use. Oh! Two one, two one! One guy got around, he's going in the back door. Yeah, I got one. There we go. I split him in half. Need in. Oh, sh oh shit! I killed Billy! Billy! Oh, come on. Wow, dude, this guy spawned on the car. Oh shit. Friggin' shock infantry. Alright, new plan. We're going straight to O1. We're going straight for O1. Like, we go straight for O1. We got a Damn, I killed Billy again. Did we ever kill the sniper oh, shit. Now I'm going straight for O1. <laughs> 
There, I killed the sniper off the top too. Sniper comes off the bed, there's still six of one guy inside. Oh, they didn't. Got him. Oh shit. I got the cool. Oh shit. Oh! There's so many in there, man! Okay, I'm gonna throw a nade up there. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a nade up there. What? Yeah, I'm throwing a nade up there. Dude! That nade didn't do jack shit to him! Holy shit, I'm dodging nades. Oh, I did it again! No! Check. Oh, he still got him with that fail nade. Oh. Oh. Wow, where did this guy come from? Okay, uh, got one. Go on the roof. Got the guy on the roof. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, there's two guys going for the building you're camping on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, it's Billy. Freaking Billy. Eyes. I need eyes right away. Uh, you don't have any eyes, remember? Well, I need eyes right away. We're yes. not even. Nobody's close to you. You're the only guy over there. You got two paras, though. Get over here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bridge, one on bridge. Okay, I got him. Three bullets is all it takes. Holy shit, four in. They're all in the middle, oh god. They're nading me, they're nading me. Oh. Throwing one in. Oh, we got them all. That's pretty good. Back door, AA, AA. Ow, he shot me. He missed the damn guy with a Tommy gun and he hit me! Christ, mate, mate. Oh my god, I'm not gonna like four balls now. What the hell? I think we're good, right? Oh, no one's in. One in, one in. I'm hoping yeah. Billy's gonna take care of him. Well, don't rely on Billy. Throwing Nate at that. No, Billy, don't do it, Billy! Had no ammo in my head with that. Freaking carbine. Oh! <laughs> they all stockpiled at the door, and I tried to take out as many as I could. Oh, they're coming in from health box side. I don't have ammo! Get in here! <laughs> I mean, get I'm some. Out. I'm out. You guys should be forcing me. I just killed like four of them. Keep it up. But yeah, my, my, it, yeah, it is designed to get pushed from the east side. So it's gonna suck. Just, just like. Oh, I wanna know. I'm in here. Or. Oh, one, one. Yeah. I, I was waiting to see if I had to spawn at 01 or not. Oh shit. Here we go, here we go. All alone. Oh shit. You want me to just one, one, one. Just two, one. Get in there. Ah, oh, don't trick me like that. Don't trick me like that. Oh shit. Come in, come in. Middle side, middle side, middle side. <laughs> I'm scared. 
I take a guy coming in the middle. Oh no! Come on. Oh, they got a pair on D3. No way. All you guys have to do is get neutralized on that point. Can you, you think you got enough to there to neutralize it? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're losing D3. No, get in here, get in here, get in here. Hurry up, hurry up. Shit, shit, hurry shit, 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 shit. Get shit. in here! I'm trying to. You don't have time for you to stick around. Yeah, well... Okay. Go. I need to go heal up. We saved, we saved D3. That's all that matters. We saved D3. Oh, they're coming from that back entrance. Nathan, 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 shit. The AA entrance. Yeah, yeah. Yes! Alright, so, hope you enjoyed that gameplay. Lots of crazy action you can do with the Johnny, as well as having, say, just grenades as a sidearm for helping you clear out buildings. So, now I'll get into pros and cons. I'll start off with the cons on the gun. So, I'd say it's got a pretty ugly iron sight. Not the easiest thing to look through and just keep your your target in view. You, you're going to have to mess around with that and figure out what works best for you as far as with the iron sight. It's d decently expensive. It costs 217000 so that's a decent grind of credits just to buy it. You got 20 bullets in the magazine, so pretty low ammo count. It needs fast reload. So yeah, the gun's got the low ammo count with the 20 bullets, so you kind of need to have the fast reload, or at least the fast reload just makes your gameplay just more fun. You feel like you can actually use the gun properly. And to get the fast reload, it's kind of hard to achieve since you have to grind up a submachine gun, just a completely different class of weapons, just to get this one badge. You can't get a scope with it, so compared to a FG-42... You can't get a scope with this Johnson, which, I mean, if you're into, say, that medium range, you want that medium range accuracy, you're not quite going to have that. You can achieve it at gold 4 on LMG Assault, so it's going to take the, just the longest grind just to get to the Johnson. So you're passing over, say, the 1919, which would be considered, say, just overall best kind of MG, since it's it's got the 50 rounds, and you can just mod that gun certain ways. So you gotta have to go past that gun to gold for for the Johnny. It's got a much quicker damage drop off compared to a regular MG, such as the 1919. And with more mods, this is going to take away some stability. But these mods are kind of necessary is because you're fighting in, say, medium, close range inside buildings. You, you want that rate of fire so you can quickly down targets. Now, for the pros here, just insanely good pro. You can use it on an infantry guy. You can use it on a paratrooper. That's just that alone is is pretty just I like that just the versatility on the gun is very good in that sense And in a way it sort of doesn't feel too badge dependent It doesn't really re rely on tight grip as most other MGs or having marathon man man because It's a lighter LMG so you can maintain accuracy and have sprint it costs one less weight slot compared to, say, the typical LMG. This one's six weight, and a typical LMG would be seven weight. So you do have an extra slot of weight that you can, say, put into something else. 
depending on what kind of a, a builder setup you're using, like you could use the grenades to add on two slots that puts you at nine with max ammo, and then you could say have a sidearm with just like no extra ammo, just just for emergencies. Fast reload works better for this LMG compared to say the 30 cal because the reload is shorter so you're going to get the magazine much reloaded much faster as well because it's got the 20 bullets just fast reload is just so much more useful. You can run and gun with it it's much lighter than classic LMG so you can sort of use it in, as like an SMG and still maintain decent amount of accuracy. When compared to the FG42, despite the gun having sort of just shitty iron sights, it's more clear what you see from using the Johnson than if you're using an FG42. And the Johnson actually has 50 rate of fire more than the FG42. So in close range, it's, it is a three hit kill. So it doesn't matter what heavy set you're going up against, you're going to be able to three hit kill that guy. And say it's a it's a breach weapon. It's, it's better than a 30 kill at indoor fighting because it has better hip fire accuracy and because you can run and gun with it. The look and sound of the gun is pretty awesome. You just you you hear the Johnny and you get frightened just you know that there's a Johnny around the corner and he's just gonna rip you up. And it's got about a medium repair. One you have all four main mods on. Uh, a normal game would cost you about fifty percent, sixty percent of your salary. So and that would be about say forty percent if you're running the extra veteran mod. So in that sense. Yeah, it can cost a regular person a little bit, but still not nearly as much as some of th So, final verdict on the Johnson. Despite first thoughts on the gun, as it being not overly useful or just being outclassed by say, the 30 cal, which is already kind of just the better choice as far as ammo capacity and iron sights and just say feel of the gun since... 19, the 1919s, it's been around for her quite a long time. So you're just so used to it. But the Johnny is actually better for certain roles. It fills a different gap. So it's, it's like a lighter version of the 30 cal. And on top of that, you can, you can actually run and gun with it, which you can't quite do as well if you're using the other LMGs. So overall, it's a great gun. A must-have gun, either for your infantry guy or your paratrooper guy. Just, you know, have fun with the gun. Use it. Just dominate with it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to reading comments on, you know, what you think of the Johnson. Let me know. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.